Hello, my name is Baymax, and today I'm going to take you through Flip Lesson 119, Finding a Hole When a Percent is Known. Example 1 says that 30% of the moviegoers went to watch the new flick. If 1,500 people went to the theater, to watch the new flick, how many went to the theater? This problem is similar to different things we have done before, though this time we are going to work a bit backwards. Let's try it. It says 30% of the moviegoers. If I were to write that out, it would say 30% of, and then we have a unknown number. However, we know that it equals this number. So what we can do here is we can learn to rearrange our problem and so solve for the answer. Our equation, after we convert the percentage to a decimal, is going to be 0.3 or 3 tenths times an unknown equals 1500. To solve for this equation, I'm going to have to take 1,500 and divide by 0.3. Dividing by a decimal, I'm going to get rid of the decimal on the outside, and so I must move the decimal on the inside, and then place the decimal straight up. And so, 3 goes into 15,000, 5,000 times. And through this operation, we have determined that 5,000 movie goers went to the theater. This process is not a new process, just a different method of solving to find the whole number instead of finding one of our different problems. Let's try another one. Hello, I'm back to help you with sample number two. 40% of what number is 120? It says to find the answer by writing an equation and model it with a sketch. Let's work on this together. 40% of our unknown equals 120. The equation, of course, would then say 0.4 times an unknown. And I'm going to use the letter N equals 120. And then I would be able to solve with that equation. Now, writing a sketch can sometimes help us understand what is going on. Because we are dealing with percents, we can break it into 10 sections. And each section is 10% for a total of 100%. Since we know that 40% equals 120. That means that we are looking for this total to solve for n. In this case, we could think about this in a couple of different ways. We could look at these four sections that we know 
and take this idea and divide it by 120 to get what 10% is. And then you could add each of those 10% together to get a total. However, this math here is probably the simpler way to do that as we will rearrange our problem to say 120 divided by 4 tenths. And as we do the work, we are going to move our decimal. And our new problem is going to look like this. And we will solve for this problem and get a total answer of 300. Congratulations. You have worked through lesson 119. Here is a sample problem. This video will not end until you say, I am satisfied with my care. Have a great day.